Hey, what's up, everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we are doing the Benavides versus Votsik is on video. As um, David Benavides, the undefeated, former two-time super middleweight world champion, is set to battle former light heavyweight world champion Oleksandr Votsik as they collide for the vacant WBC interim light heavyweight championship on June 15th on Amazon Prime pay-per-view. Now, before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So, this is a good one right here. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, you know, it's on the Tank Davis Frank Martin uh, undercard right here. It's the co-feature. Um, and if you are thinking that David Benavidez is just going to roll over Oleksandr Votsik, I think you have uh, something, you know, uh, have to understand that you might have another thing coming here. This is an extremely dangerous fight for David Benavides. Um, he's making his debut at light heavyweight, so maybe the maybe his power and all that stuff will be better at 175 now that he's finally moving up to light heavyweight. Yes, he's fighting for the interim title to move in line for a world title shot. I think these are all smart things right here. But Oleksandr Votsig, if you guys do not know who that is, one, you really don't know much about boxing, but two, this guy's fucking dangerous. Now, let me school you on Votsig. Votsig, 2012 a silver medalist from the Ukraine. He was on the Ukrainian boxing team with Vasily Lomachenko and Oleksandr Yusik. He is called the nail. This guy retired Adonis Stevenson when he brutally knocked him out to capture the WBC light heavyweight title. Um, he beat some pretty solid light heavyweights. His lone defeat was to Arthur Better Beev in 2019 when he when he was winning on the scorecards heading into the 10th round and Better Beev stopped them. He then retired for three years and then returned in 2023 and got three victories last year against subpar competition. But this guy, up until 34 years old, was a top tier fucking fighter. And if he is still on the level of Better Beev, which he barely lost to Better Beev, let me put it this way. He gave Arthur Better Beev the toughest fight of his career because Better Beev has only been behind on the scorecards twice when he, when he uh, finished his opponents. He's finished every opponent. He's 20 and 0 with 20 knockouts. Is better be it. Only two opponents have been beating him on the scorecards at the time of the stoppage. Anthony Yard did it after eight rounds. Usyk are heading into their eighth round fight that was stopped. Votsik was beating him heading into the tenth round before he was stopped. So Alexander Votsik is the real deal now. There's a 10-year age gap here. There is. Benavidez is 27. Votsik is 37. So, you know, when I do my prediction, that could weigh heavily the age difference there. Also, Benavidez moving up in weight. It, I think his power might be more at light heavyweight. But here's also the thing. Alexander Votsik is the same size as David Benavidez. David is not the bigger man here. They're both 6'2". Actually, Votsik have, has a half-inch reach advantage on David. So they're pretty much the same size. The biggest difference between these two guys um, is the age. It's a 10-year age gap. So I'm kind of looking at this fight going in the way I was looking at um, Munguia and John Ryder heading into that the age difference was the thing that that stuck out to me and it could be the thing because i haven't even decided on and, and, it, and this is where a lot of people are going to be surprised i haven't decided on who i'm picking between benavidez and votes it's that close to a 50 55 in my book 
Now, Benavides could roll all over Votzig because of style, power, youth, absolutely. But if Oleksandr Votzig is still the Oleksandr Votzig that was around in 2019, this is not going to be a fucking walk in the park for David Benavides. And Votzig absolutely has the talent and the ability to pull off the upset here and really fucking throw everybody out of whack at light heavyweight and in the world of boxing. Because Benavides is supposed to be one of the hot, younger, now he's been around for years. He's been, you know, banging around. He won his first world title, I think, when he was uh, 21, 22 years old. So we know, we know, we've we've known about Benavides for over five, six years now. But, um, Votzik, you know, is the real deal. And people need to, and David Benavides especially, needs to not sleep on Alexander Votzik but if, if this is the Alexander Votzik of old, it could be it could be a long night for David, you know. But it's an inci- exciting, intriguing matchup because David is, you know, we all know has been cutting down to 168, and he's always been a big guy at 168. I think he's going to fill out 175 nicely, and and maybe bring up more power because he's not cutting so much weight. And, but Alexander Votzig, they call him the nail. He's a sharpshooting boxer that has power. He's 20 and one with 16 knockouts in his career. This guy is good, very good. So make sure you're paying attention to this fight when it happens. Saturday, June 15th on Amazon Prime pay-per-view on the, on the undercut. So, Benavidez versus Votzik is on for the vacant WBC light heavy, uh, the vacant WBC interim light heavyweight title. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.